Chelsea fans are watching closely as their club are subject of interest from billionaire Sir Jim Ratcliffe. Is Roman Abramovich's Russian empire about to march out of town? Blues supporters shouldn't worry too much if he sells. If Sir Jim is the man to eventually take them forward, they're getting one of the world's richest people, and he's a huge football fan. Roman Abramovich could turn a profit of over pound 2.3 billion should he sell. That's pure pocket change to the British tycoon, who is by some distance has more money than anyone else in the UK. If Chelsea fans thought Roman had rubles, then think again. Net worth, pound 21 billion. Age, 66. Born, Failsworth, Greater Manchester. Lives, Chelsea. Manchester, Hampshire. Rich World Ranking, 140. The self-made billionaire has been called the world's most successful post-war industrialist. But incredibly he only became an entrepreneur aged 40 as he went from humble council house beginnings to becoming the UK's richest person. Ratcliffe worked at Courtauld's, a chemicals producer in Coventry before joining U.S. private equity group Advent International in 1989. With support, he co-led the buyout of a chemicals business from BP to form his first company in spec. But only in 1998 did he start making some serious money when he founded Ineos, putting everything he owned into the purchase the site in Antwerp. The risk paid off. The father of three is not just happy running a huge global corporation. The 66-year-old recently purchased Team Sky, and owns Swiss football club Lausanne Sport. Hampshire's luxury Limewood Hotel is in his name, and he often spends time in his third home. He is also a stakeholder in the expanding boutique Pig Hotel chain, and has interest in fashion lines. Having been born just a few miles from Old Trafford, he grew up as a Manchester United fan. But since buying a third home in West London, he's become a regular at Stamford Bridge. In the last few years his interest has increased and he now buys pricey season tickets and attends most home matches. Not happy with just the one vessel, he owns two super yachts. Also a keen cyclist, he has some of the world's top bikes on his rack. Of course, the three family homes come in useful, where he's there of course. If he's not away on business, he reportedly enjoys four mega money holidays every year. He also owns no less than four private jets to get him there, and a fleet of cars. He revealed all to the times about what makes his world work. We'd look at businesses that were unfashionable or unsexy. Facilities owned by large corporations where you'd know they would be sloppy with the fixed costs, he said. We'd run them a bit better, reduce the costs, make them busy, and over the cycle they are very profitable. A prominent Brexiteer, he made headline for the wrong reason last month. The shadow chancellor said he was disappointed Sir Jim was relocating to Monaco in a reported bid to save up to £4 billion in tax. John McDonnell urged the super-rich in the UK to make their contribution like the rest of us. His annoyance came after the Sunday Times claimed he was planning on utilising the tax loophole.